and the oldest Via Ferrata in France. Yes, this is the oldest Via Ferrata in France, made in 1988. The Via Ferrata website has lots of details, and the funny thing is the comments saying there's not a lot of bars and a lot of rock contact. And I saw that as a negative before I went into it, but actually it turned out to be quite a positive thing. It's an old sign, and the route looks like an old scrambling kind of climbing route so you don't really need many metal bars here there is one to hang off and then above there isn't because you don't need it again here there's a big platform to stand on so you don't need metal bars everywhere the next example is is good because my hands are in a perfect handhold and then my feet are just going to go to this big stepping stone so there you go there's no need for adding metal bars into this via ferrata the next clip is climbing up quite a steep section and again there's no metal bars and it means you have to look at the rock more carefully and Place your feet carefully, take big steps, and be balanced. And it's good fun. It's a good reward. Here the footwork is quite delicate. My hand is on the cord just in case I slip off. But it's all in the footwork there. And this tree, I think people have been stepping on this tree since 1988. Maybe even before feel sorry for it a bit. On to part two, no need to take the escape route. Part two doesn't get much harder at all. Some bedrock, some white rock. And here again, there's some places for my hands up here. And when you do need the metal bars, there are some there. The whole thing doesn't. The whole thing isn't completely without metal bars. They do exist, and they are there when you need them. So again, I want a metal bar. Then here, there's a big ledge, so no need to have a metal bar. I think the GoPro makes this look worse than it actually is. Although it's still, you know, don't really want to fall here my clips again there's another little place for my feet to go in here so no need for metal down there and you have to look for where to place the feet next where can they go to there, check it, check, check. It's all good, yes. Off we go. And then this part. Now, yeah, there we go, that was done. And yes, this part, there's not much for the hands, but then it's not vertical, so you don't need to have your hands, you can just lean against a rock and be balanced. So yeah, I found this very fun, quite different, and required a bit more concentration than normal. It's uh, quite a long Via Ferrata, between 800 and 1000 metres of the Via Ferrata, so it's quite a long one. Requires a bit of concentration, but had a good time. This is the final climbing up section. And there we go. That <laughs> is in the end of it. Probably took around two hours. And then there's a nice hike down through the woods and along the bottom of the, the cliff. 
good time. There you go.